So I've seen this video circulating showing that you can actually unlock a padlock with only a pop can. I'm here to prove whether this is true or not. So basically what we got to start doing is cut off the bottom of our can. It doesn't have to be pretty. We're going to go ahead and cut off the top as well. You want to be careful not to cut yourself as this is really thin aluminum and it can definitely poke you if you're not careful. Now we're going to cut right down the center right here. We're going to go ahead, open this up. Next, we're going to cut off both sides just to get rid of all those jagged edges. Now flip it over, do the other side. All right, now that we got both of those cut off, we're gonna snip out some rectangles here. These don't have to be perfect in size, but they should be similar to this size. Now, I wanna make these a little bit less wide so they fit in my padlock a little bit better. So I'm gonna snip off a side, do the same on this one. After you have a rectangle that looks like this, we're gonna cut off each edge to make it into a triangle. Now this next step isn't 100% necessary, but you will see later on that this will help give you some reinforcement on your shim when you're trying to shim the padlock. So I'll fold it over. Now what we're doing here is we wanna round the shim out so it fits into the shackle of the padlock a little bit better. So I fold it over this pen, get it nice and round. Now we're gonna grab our padlock, which is latched. We're gonna slide it into the left side of the shackle. There should be a little crack there where this will fit right down in there. Once you have it secured in there, you're gonna to start to rotate it. As you rotate it, you're gonna eventually just shim right past the shackle stop and it should pull right out like so. Now let me take a closer look and kind of show you what's going on here. So as you can see, there's a little groove here on the shackle. And when the lock is completely latched, there's a pin that drives right into that groove and it stops it from opening. Now what we're doing with our little shim here is we're actually shimming the driver pin that goes into that channel and the lock just actually pops right open.